Hey everyone, so this is Unit 5, Module 3, Session 3 homework. Um, as always, make sure you're trying them, trying the problems. If you get stuck, use this video to help you. And then um, if you think you get it, pause it and then ch use the video to check your answers. So let's just do this first one. Um, you circle the picture that best represents each equation and solve the equation. So this first one, it looks like, I, I'm going to write this again. I'm going to write it as 1 half of 3 sixths. And so it looks like the only ones that you can see 3 sixths, see how this top part is in sixth. I see 3 sixths right here, 3 sixths. Um, I see it here also, one, two, three, but it's kind of broken apart. And I also see it right here. There's three six. The only problem with this one on the right is there's the whole thing. It should be just up here. So that one won't work for me. Um, but this one does right here over on the left, number A, I just said number A, letter A, um, because it's half of three six. And so it's just that half of that 3 6, which is 3 twelfths. And then you can actually see it in here. Do you see that it's also equivalent to 1 fourth? If I were to divide that by 3 over 3, or 1, which happens to be 3 over 3. So 3 twelfths is equal to 1 fourth. Let's keep going. All right, 1 half of 1 third. 1 half of 1 third. They're all in thirds. Um, there's only one that has one half of them. And so that, do you see which one it is? So they're all thirds. So this is a third. That's a whole third, so it can't be that one. This is a third, this is a half of a third. But then what about this over here? So it can't be that one. This is a third. This is a half of a third right here. Looks like it's one sixth. Cannot be simplified because one is um, one can't be divided by any other whole number. Uh, next one: two fifths of three fourths. Two fifths of three fourths. Um, this isn't three fourths, right? That's two fourths. That can't be. Um, this one's three fourths, but then it's four fifths, and I want two fifths. Um, this one is, this is four-fourths. See, it's across four-fourths. That's not it. So it has to be D, right? And so um, the, here's my three-fourths, and here's my two-fifths. And it looks like it's six, and there's 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 of those, uh, of the total ones. Uh, you can simplify that. What if we, they're both even, so we can always do that. Let's divide it by two over two. That's uh, three tenths. I think we're done. With that. All right, let's do the next one. Use the grid to model and solve each combination. Remember to outline a rectangle to represent the whole first. Oh, that's my dog barking. I'm gonna pause it. Okay. Back at it, even though that probably didn't, you probably didn't know as much of a change. So we're in the front door. Okay, uh, number two, use the grid to model and solve each combination. Remember to outline a rectangle that represent the whole first. I think I already said that before I paused it and then got distracted. So they want us to do the whole first. And so the whole has six and the other side has six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. They already gave us a square, the appropriate size um, so there's the hole and then they want five six so one two three four five that's five six and then one two three four five another five six and then we just color them in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You just listened to me count to 25. Probably not that exciting. 25, 36. Um, the next one, the whole thing, they've already set it up for us, so it's kind of a funny one outlining the whole, but the whole is right here. That's one, right? So our answer is going to be less than one. 
three sevenths, three of them, and then two fourths, which is the same as half, but they just left it as two fourths. Um, and then I'm just going to color them all together. And that looks like there's six of them out of, if I count all of them, the seven times four, there should be um, 28. Okay. And then I could simplify that. They're both even numbers. So I'm going to divide that by two over two. Uh, three fourteenths. Okay. All right. I'm most worried about the six twenty-eighths, though. Six twenty-eighths, the twenty-five thirty-six. All right. Let's go to the next one. Betsy has fourteen dollars and twenty-five cents. Her brother has sixteen dollars. They want to buy two water guns that cost twelve ninety-nine each, and a bag of water balloons that cost four seventy-nine. Do they have enough money? If so, how much money will they have left over? If not, how much more money do they need? So let's just add it all up, right? So they want to, let's figure out how much they have first. So Betsy has 14.25 and then her brother has $16. So I'm just gonna add that up. It's all money, so it's gonna have two decimal places. Um, that looks like I'm gonna carry that. And so 3025, let's see if they got enough. So they want two water guns, 12.99 each. And then they have, and they want um, the balloons, 4.79. So I'm just gonna add all that up. So three nines is 27. So I'm gonna put seven, carry the two. And then, um, Two nine says so eighteen twenty twenty seven again. I'm gonna decimal down, carry the two. Um two 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 is six plus four is ten. Carry the one. Thirty seven. Oh, they almost have enough. So they do not have enough. They do not have enough. They need um, how much do they need? Well, they need 3077 minus 3025. So it's really, they almost have enough um, to 52 cents. Oh, they almost have anything brought. They need 52 cents. Zero, one, two. Okay. If Betsy earns only six dollars, will they have enough money to buy two water guns and two bags of water balloons? Well, we've got all kinds of things we can do, right? Um, Let's just take our numbers from above. She's going to earn six more dollars. So 30.25 uh, plus six dollars is 36.25. This is what they have. Okay. Then they, the original cost was 30.77. And then you're going to buy another bag of water balloons. So 4.79. So now we just add, right? Six, carry the one, 15, bring the decimal down, carry the one, five, 35. Um, yes, they have enough money. Maybe not, oh, enough. Okay. All right, Betsy made a cake for Josie's birthday party. After the party, only one third of the cake was left. They're totally like changing gears on us, right? Water guns to birthday cake. Uh, after the party, there was only one third of the cake left. That night, Betsy and Josie each ate another one twelfth of cake. How much of the cake was eaten in all? Okay, so um, this one's kind of weird. So there's one third of the cake, one third of the cake, right, left. That's my one third. Um, that night, Betsy and Josie each ate another one twelfth of the cake, not one twelfth of one third, which is really hard to like uh, make a problem of. You can subtract one twelfth from it, I guess. We could do that, right? We could subtract one twelfth and subtract one twelfth. I'm going to break it into twelfths. I know that if I break each of these, if I break it into fourths, that's twelve. So they're going to eat this one, gone. That one's going to be um, 
Josie. I guess Josie would be a capital J. And this one's going to be Betsy. That one's gone. So what's left? Two twelfths left. Okay. Which is equal to one six left? Equal to one six left. How much of the cake was the oops? See, and I read it wrong. I had to read see, I had to read it again. How much of the cake was eaten and all? If there's one six left, then five twelfths or five six was eaten. Or ten twelfths eaten. Okay. Let's see if we can get this last one. If we can get it in our time limit. Um, three friends were talking about races they injured over the weekend. Sherry uh, said she ran three fifths of her 12 kilometer course before getting before she started walking. Kyle said he ran seven eighths of his five kilometer course before he started walking. Evan said he ran three fourths of his eight kilometer course before he started walking. The boys argued that they each ran more than Sherry because three fourths and seven eighths are greater than three fifths which is all true. Do you agree? Well, let's look at what we have. So the first one is three fifths of 12. Okay, so three fifths of 12. The whole thing is 12. They need to know what this is. So each of these is um, 12 over five also known as two and two fifths, right? Who's that one? That one is three fifths of 12. That one's Sherry. All right. And then it looks like Kyle ran seven eighths of five. So Kyle has five right here and he ran um, to do, to do this four seven eighths of it you ran almost the whole thing so we need to know each of these little ones is five eight so five divided by eight is five eighths okay and then we have i don't have any room left on there and then we have the other person no that was kyle so evan so you ran three fourths of eight oh one that's going to be nice for us. Three fourths. So the whole thing is eight. He ran three fourths of that. So that one we can see the twos. So who is this? This is Evan. Evan ran six kilometers. Okay. And then Sherry ran, um, she ran three of these, two fifths. I'm going to turn her color to red. Um, this one is. Two and two fifths plus two and two fifths plus two and two fifths. Well, um, we already know that she ran more than Evan. That's an E. I use a different color, Evan. Um, so we already knew she because she ran six plus than the three two fifths. So Sherry ran more. And then five eighths plus five eighths plus five eighths plus five eighths. Um, well, he didn't. Kyle didn't even go five kilometers, right? So I think they're wrong. Sherry ran the most. Good job, Sherry. All right. Make sure you bring any questions for me, guys. Um, keep working hard. And, yeah, thanks.